everyone, it's Cece. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing some rune crafting. So specifically today I'm going to be crafting rage runes. There we go. <laughs> so I don't have that many like I can craft. I, ha I have enough. But the reason that I'm crafting rage runes is this is on my alt account. And we're also going to keep mostly everything right now. So I know previously I've done some rune crafting videos. And some of you have been like, oh, I totally would have sold that. I totally would have kept that. Um, so the only stuff I'm really going to like sell is the stuff that I'm obviously not going to use. Some of the other stuff I am going to hang on to. I'll level it up. They have the event where you can put it to plus six for free. This is awful. What are these grooms? Um, They have the event where you can put it up to plus six for free. So that's why I'm going to keep most of them. I'll roll some of them, see how they go, where I can use them, that kind of thing. But one of the reasons I'm crafting Rage Runes is um, I'm finally working on a BJ5 team here. So I do have it on my main account. Um, I do suggest it to people, honestly. Like, it is so much easier doing these faster runs eventually when you can make one, of course. Um, this account is pretty much there where it's able to, but I need Rage Runes. <laughs> I need to be able to rune bill, at least hit those stats that I need to hit. So I decided, like, you know what? I'll go ahead. I'm going to craft a bunch of Rage Runes. And then when it's time to go in and build him, uh, ideally I'll want to put him on rage, but like you can also put them on like a broken set as long as he has the will on him. That's important, right? So it could be a will technically whatever, like, but ideally, of course, I'm going to want to go with rage, which is why we're kind of here crafting it. Um, so hopefully we get at least one like usable rune in here that can help me on that adventure <laughs> to ruin him. I finally just six heard him after the fusion event that they had as well, which has been nice. It's been helpful to be honest with everything. But now I'm at the point where it's like, I tried to kind of like look through in what I had and I haven't been farming Necro all that much. So I don't have very many. So I'm like, you know what? Maybe I'll go through, I'll craft, whatever I'm missing, I'll go back into Necro. Um, Cause right now I'm still living in Giants and trying to get rooms from there, but. I mean, maybe we can get something. So far we had like one room that was okay. But a lot of these are for sure gonna have to be sold. Um, but I'm definitely utilizing this event for the plus six. Like I'm going through literally almost every, like every single room that's not up, putting it to plus six, seeing how it rolls, selling at least what I need to. And I think it's a, gonna be a really good start for a room cleanup because the last video I posted, I asked you guys the same thing for you. Why did you have to be flat? Um, <laughs> if it's the same thing for you, if you like hoard runes and hang on to them, which is definitely what I do. So I'm actually going to be using this event to like clean up my runes and like start fresh and then be a little more strict in what I'm keeping. And... Ooh, legendary. Here we go. Here we go. Why are you flat? <laughs> Relatable, right? Like you finally give me a legend rune with really great stats for a rage rune. Like attack, crit rate, crit damage. I mean, they're low, but that's okay. But you're gonna be flat. Thanks, sure, sure. And I know like you can use flat runes, like some people use them on things, but I mean, for Bell, I'm not gonna want that. I won't really use that. <laughs> that's too bad. Watch that be the only one that we get as well through here. I also need to upgrade uh, my bulldozer's runes, so maybe some of these ones I can actually use in there as well. So this one is probably going to be a pretty quick, quick crafting video, but at least this can maybe, like, if you guys have really bad rune crafting luck, like, ditto, right? You can see, this is just for entertainment purposes, that you know you're not alone in this. Other people also craft really garbage runes. We have a certain stats I'm gonna want to hit on him, so I mean, let me know though. Do you have a BJ5 team? Do you use it? Do you love it? <laughs> for me, it changed the way that I did like R5. I, I put it off for so long on building one on my like main account, and now I'm like, I should build it here too. Like, it would really, I mean, it would make things easier if I have two teams that can do it. I essentially just need like a third account that can do it, and we're good. I mind you, there's always people looking to do BJ5 though, right? So, and there's so many great guides out there as well for how to do it. And 
At some point, I was gonna make a guide video actually on like how to make a BJ5 team, but then I just thought like, never got around to it. And then it was already such a big thing and everyone was already kind of had done it. So now this account's kind of just playing uh, catch up to that. I genuinely think I only got like one really good rune that I'll be able to. So much flat. So many flat or five stars. Five, that's okay. At least we can make mana. Hey, it's a legend. There we go. That's good. There's no uh, crit rate, but we might be able to actually use this on him. Depending. No HP though. Ideally, I'd want to grind in HP as well. But I can use this on someone. Especially because your crit rate doesn't need to be that high on him. Or I can use it on other units that have high enough crit rate already. Okay, I'll take. That's not going to be one we re-up either, so I hope it goes well. <laughs> okay, so two legend runes that we got out of the crafting session then. It was just one that was the flat garbage one. And then that other one. As I said, there's another one. Of course it's a slot one. There we go. That's a really nice rune for him as well. And we don't need much speed either. So depending on how it rolls, it's good. That's a good rune. Take that. Good stats, good stats. We're happy with that. Okay. Ideally overall now I'm already happy with what we've crafted. We got some stuff that's good and usable. So yay, it's not like a total like waste of symbols, which is nice. <laughs> Do you guys enjoy the rune crafting videos? Do you, are you okay if I keep posting them? Not, let me know if it's... Because I know lately I've done a lot. It just so happens that all my accounts are lining up where I need to craft runes. And I figured if I'm gonna craft them, I may as well like film it for you guys. And yeah. Let me know though. I do read all your comments and I go through and I try to reply to everybody as you know. So thank you for taking the time to comment, of course. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, Take a look around. There's playlists of other Summoner's War videos and maybe consider subscribing. It does help out my channel a lot. It helps it grow, helps the content. So appreciate that. And we have a few more to craft here and I think we're almost done, right? We're almost out of symbols. We should, I should actually go. Oh, we're done. Okay, let's see how many we crafted. I had 650, I think-ish. So yeah, we crafted a decent amount. So before I end it, I think we should go ahead and roll these two legends we got. What do you guys think? We'll do the plus six for now, because it's free, and then see how it goes. And then we'll go to plus 12 and see how it goes from there. So depending on how they roll is actually going to depend if I use on the top. So accuracy was the one stat I did not want to roll on this room. It's the one that I was actually going to swap out. So that's cool. That's <laughs> can maybe use it on someone else. Crit damage. Okay. Let's put it to 12 now. Yeah, that was the one stat in this room that I was like, I probably don't need you to hit on that. That's fine though, that's cool. We still have the other one. The other one is the one that I'm really like banking on. <laughs> but for this one, I might actually, I put this on somebody else too. But the accuracy is probably the stat that I was like least hoping for, to be honest. But look, in the time that this has come out, they added in that where you could actually chat while you're upping runes. Thank you. This was, this is good. <laughs> that was something I think a lot of us were wanting and like, it's such a small thing, I think, to be added, but it makes such a big difference. Because sometimes if I'm in runes and I have a lot that I'm crafting, I don't pay attention at all in chat. And sometimes I'm having conversations with you guys and then I miss out on it or so. I'm definitely glad that they added in that feature. And this rune is really not powering up for us. And I don't want to use any of the power up stones either. I would save those when I'm trying to go to plus 15, which I have a lot of runes I need to up, but I do have a lot of mana as well, so. This rune. Come on, two more levels, really? The fails, what? <laughs> All right, all right. Is it just me or do you notice when there's like power up stones involved and you have the option, there we go. And you have the option to use them that it goes slower. 
Okay, at least that was a full roll into speed there. Okay, well, it didn't quite upgrade the way that I was hoping, but there we go. This is the one. Let's just put it straight to 12 rather than going 6 to 12. And we'll see. This is one that I'm kind of counting on, like, upping well. <laughs> okay, attack is good. So ideally, I'm going to want it to hit the attack and the HP the most. It's fine if it goes into crit, but attack and HP is what. Didn't really want the speed, but that's okay. If I have speed here, I don't have to worry about it so much on the other runes, but with Bell, you don't need a lot of speed on him, so that's not really a stat we're focusing on. Or this is going to turn into like a really nice Lucian rune, maybe, depending. But yeah, like I, I don't think it's just me, right? I feel like as soon as there's power up stones involved, my rune is somehow like, you're going from eight to nine, you're gonna fail like four or five times. <laughs> really? <laughs> Come on. This one's gotta be like, there we go. Oh, that was a nice speed roll. I don't think this is gonna be a bell rune to be honest. This is gonna go on someone else. <laughs> If it can hit speed one more time, that'd be really nice. And it's probably gonna take like, how many minutes to actually get to 12 because, how much mana are we gonna spend from going 11 to 12? At this point, I'm watching my mana just kind of go down, which is fine. There's enough of it. Like, but ideally, like, how much, how much mana are you going to waste going? Anytime these rune power-up events come around, I swear my runes take so much more to actually upgrade. There we go. It did go into speed. Ooh, okay. That was almost a quad roll, guys. Three is the most I've gotten in there. So this is definitely not going to go to Bell. Um, this is probably gonna go to Lucian, to be honest. Yeah, okay. I think we'll stop it here then. I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, so that's it for today's video. Really nice speed there and attack. I'm actually excited to kind of ruin and do some of these units. So yeah, if you like the video, uh, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's it for today's video. So bye for now. Next level.